everyone, Justine Leslie here, intuitive reader and teacher, and I help awakened and sensitive souls navigate this crazy world. Now, one of the ways I do it is that every month I have uh, a monthly energy read, and basically, um, my chair is a little noisy, sorry about that. Um, basically what I do is, um, as an intuitive, I can pick up maybe four to five different things that will... Um, as a kind of like a prediction or what I feel the energy will be like and what's coming um, for the month ahead. So this is actually for March 2020 and um, I've been doing them since the beginning of the year so there's two other videos um, for, uh, I'm sorry, for February and for January so definitely check those out when you get a chance. So I'm going to jump right into them um, and again this is basically the energy read of what to expect during uh, uh, the month of March uh, 2020. Okay, so I'm going to jump right into it. Okay. First things first, um, the first thing that definitely came up in my meditation this morning was focus. So it is so, so important for us to, um, it's almost like the beginning of the year started out with, you know, we had all these resolutions, we wanted to achieve a lot of different things this year, and uh, we're definitely on the path, but it's almost like we're falling off, which is pretty normal, right? Because we can get mo momentum and it can only last for so long. Um, we can't always be motivated. That's why we need to be disciplined. And that's kind of what's coming up here is that it's you still want these things. And that's the other thing too, and I thought for many years, is that maybe I don't really want those these things because I don't feel disciplined and I don't feel um, motivated all the time. It's completely normal. If you're in a human body, you're going to experience things like that. You're going to experience burnout, it, even with things that you're passionate about. So it's important to really kind of understand that. Um, and uh, as people that are very intuitive, which I attract a lot of those types, to my channel um, and as it's my audience, it is hard for us to be disciplined, especially because we're so used to being in a flow state. Um, and that flow state does not require any forcing and that flow state does not require um, a lot of discipline, right? Because it kind of just seems like all the synchronicities and things are lining up. So it's a little bit hard for us to be disciplined. So it's really about focusing um, uh, this month, uh, March, and really just making sure that we are achieving the things that we want to achieve and that the things that we're doing in our everyday um, are going to get us there. So really kind of look at the everyday and make sure that we're focusing, focusing, focusing on the things that we truly desire, right? So it could be a little bit out of your comfort zone intuitives, um, but it's definitely able to be done. Um, okay, so the second thing I wrote it down, sorry guys. Um, the second thing is I've been kind of alluding to this um, in the previous videos about um, I, I believe it was last month that was the reframe like that we're changing directions in our life and we're doing um, we things that we thought that we wanted or things that we uh, were on track to do um, are just kind of falling off and we're kind of going in a different direction. I felt a lot of resistance when it comes to that. I'm feeling the resistance is definitely um, uh, letting up uh, but it just feels like there are so many major changes for people in March this includes and it doesn't even feel like one so if you have one major change to consider yourself blessed um, a lot of people are gonna be having a few different things getting into a new relationship or ending a relationship um, getting a new job starting a new job changing locations traveling um, moving um, uh, changing apartments whatever it is um, so I see a lot of stuff happening in March like a combination of things so basically the message here is to keep cool um, really kind of let go of control because you're really not going to have a lot of control over a lot of these issues um, and a lot of these things that are happening um, so it's just basically saying brace yourself and really um, just go with the flow and just kind of go with it but there are a lot of major changes I wouldn't be surprised if you're seeing 222 555 uh, which are the angel numbers for massive change uh, in your life and these are these seem more positive changes right um, that's kind of what the redirect was about is that we think uh, we thought that we were on a path that really felt good to us but it doesn't feel good anymore so that's really kind of what the redirect is about so I definitely see it in the way of positive changes right um, going in a better direction for you okay number three um, all right so this is probably not going to be great news but uh, we have financial stagnation is what I wrote down. And basically what that means is that um, the money is not going to go up and the money is not really going to kind of go down. It's just going to be sort of neutral. Um, this might not be great news for people that own their own businesses. Um, and this might not be great news for people that are trying to ha that have major savings goals. Um, but right now it just kind of feels like there might be a little bit of, a, a, you know, for the collective consciousness, uh, a... A lack mentality that's kind of getting in the way 
So there's that. Um, but again, it doesn't feel like you're losing a lot of money, but it also doesn't feel like you're gaining a lot of money at the same time. So it's neutral. Um, and uh, I definitely feel like feelings of defeat might come up again this is probably pertaining to people that have their own business or trying to start their own business um so light and love to you it'll get better as uh, the year goes on but as far as march goes it feels a little neutral and stagnant um okay four unexpected opportunities um so this kind of goes it kind of piggybacks off of um the major changes that are happening a lot of these major changes like i said it's important to kind of let go of the control because it's almost like unexpected opportunities are coming your way like you're probably you know weren't planning for it in february but all of a sudden all of these changes are happening to you in, in march that's because these opportunities are presenting themselves yes it's half you know you wanting to make a change and you understanding that whatever's going on for you at that particular moment is not working for you so you're working to make a change but it's so so important that you keep your mind open and you keep the doors open to different opportunities that are coming your way it's almost like opportunities um especially in the career um realm um career realm uh of different opportunities that you wouldn't even have thought of so you might have an idea of where you want to go um, but if an opportunity comes up where it's completely opposite i would still move forward on that idea um and 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 go through that door um if you can um again if it doesn't this is where intuition plays in right if it doesn't feel good don't do it right i'm not telling you to do anything that doesn't feel good but make sure that we are determining whether it's intuition or fear right remember that as well um, but if it feels good or it sparks something in you or curiosity of some kind, go for it. So again, these opportunities that are going to, that are going to be opening to you are not exactly, um, things that you, you could see right now that you can perceive right now. It's almost like it's going to be something that, um, you know, is really kind of outside your tunnel vision, which is a good thing because all of this stuff is changes in a positive way, right? Okay. And the last one, again, not so great, <laughs> but um it, childhood wounds came up so i really feel like in march that we're really going to be diving deep on some of the uh our childhood conditioning and a lot of the traumas that we experienced as a child uh i don't know if you guys follow me on facebook but i wrote something the other day about spending our whole adult lives um healing from our childhood which is uh you know, I got mixed reviews about that, but most people kind of agreed about uh, that's so true, right? Um, is that there are certain things that we go through in our lives where it triggers um, something uh, that may have happened to us in our childhood and then those two things can correlate, right? A lot of relationships trigger that, becoming a parent triggers that, getting a new job triggers that, um, dealing with uh, coworkers that you don't really align with triggers that. There are thousand different triggers um i feel like a lot of them are coming in march something is going to trigger you that is something that is going to remind you of your childhood and really give you an opportunity to start healing from that um it's almost like is it unconscious to you or is it conscious to you um it's not always super conscious to you but it feels like it's going to appear um and uh, it's going to come into your consciousness um in march very very clearly or more clearly than it has before in the past so definitely um brace yourself for that it's going to be it's never um it's never uh how do i say this super easy um, to do stuff like that, to heal from um, some major wounds that we, you know, especially if we didn't even know we had them. Um, so light and love to you for sure. And it doesn't feel like it's going to disrupt your whole life because you have a lot of changes happening. Um, so it's important that um, you do look at it though um, and make sure that you do the appropriate things um, to heal from those. And basically that could be anything um, that feels best to you, any type of healing modality that feels best to you. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so that's it. That is, um, so let me recap. Focus, major changes, financial stagnation, unexpected opportunities, and childhood wounds um, appearing um, to be healed, of course, right? Um, so that is what March looks like for you guys. And, uh, and this is for the collective consciousness. And hopefully this resonates with you guys. If it does, please leave um, a comment below. If this type of content is appealing to you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be putting out monthly uh, energy reads uh, in the beginning of the month, uh, every month, obviously, right? <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.